Inside the GDXR template, there's currently three different types of movement. There's teleport, swift movement, and then smooth locomotion. So if we jump over to our VR pawn, I want to first show you that you can actually switch these at runtime based on what you want. So if you if your project is dedicated to using one specific type of movement, let's say teleport, you can go to here in your VR pawn and select teleport. And then you can actually call a movement type for the direction of movement as well. So this mainly works with the smooth locomotion. So if you change this to smooth, you would then change moving camera direction or move using controller direction to be what you want. And then this will set it up. So when you start your game or your project, that will be the movement type that's used. You can also change these at runtime in game and they fire through this event dispatcher. And in the case of the template, there's an example showing how to do this inside of the UMGs. So we go to the UMG folder and we jump into widget blueprints movement. We can go to the graph and we can see here, we get our VR pawn, which is stored inside of our game instance, which will be covered in a different video. And then we can call the movement type based on which input we go in. So if we jump into the project and we pop the heads on, we can see that by default, this one has smooth logo motion set up and it's following the camera rotation. But if we actually press the menu, so we click the thumbstick in, we can point to our movement types and we can choose from teleport. So now I can actually teleport around the level in like immediately. And then we can go to movement type shift and we can actually select that one. And we can use that as well to move around our level. So movement type and then continuous. And then we can go in between these and set up that way. So that's a brief rundown of the movement setup. And you can, as it is, you can go into the v, the blueprints temp blueprints folder and then VR pawn, and you can modify this how you want it based on start. So if you don't want the player to be able to change what locomotion type they're using, simply set it here. I, I'm planning on adding flying to it, but add it here. Add the movement type if you are using smooth locomotion, and then just make sure that you remove the widget blueprint movement type HUD from our menu. So our widget menu has a vertical box, and in here, I believe, maybe not the right one, we have widget main menu, and then in here, We've got a switcher, and then this actually switches between the windows that we want. So you could remove that from here, and then in the widget main menu, you could then remove the button required for the movement type. So that's just one way of removing it all. So that's pretty much it for movement types and how to set those up.